Hello. Good evening. Let's get some lighting better. I don't know why that's important on the Zoom page because I'm not demonstrating anything, but <laughs> um, let me see if I can invite some of you guys to join me so that you know I'm here. If you're catching the replay, thank you very much for catching the replay. All right, so um, sorry I'm late. Um, it just is what it is. But um, today I kind of want to talk to you about something that is not just unique related. So, um, hey Jackie. Sorry, I was getting a new message from Facebook. So apparently when you go live now, I can see who joins if I am one way and I can see who comments if I look at it another way. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so I want to talk about something that's not really unique related. I think it's related to the our lives and so you can absolutely use this when you are working your business but I just kind of want to focus on something that's just a little bit about your heart and so um, this past weekend I went to the Priscilla Shire live simulcast if you had a chance to watch it you know what a blessing it was if you didn't get a chance to watch it it's available for 30 days for $20 and it's one of the best experiences I've ever had um, having a teacher teach me um, about God's Word and just some different things that she was sharing with us. So, um, if you want to read this later, you can read 2 Kings 5, 1 through 14. But basically, it was talking about the story of when Naaman was, um, he had leprosy. And so, his wife's um, servant told him that if he went to see Elisha, that Elisha could heal him. And so, he sent word that he was coming. And he went to see Elisha, and Elisha sent a messenger and said, um, Sir, he said to go wash yourself in the Jordan, and you'll be healed. And that was it. And so, hey, Melissa. And so then uh, Naaman said, What? That's all I have to do? I'm not doing that. And the servants that went with him said, Sir, but if he told you, to do this, if he if he would have told you himself, or if he would have told you something else, you would have done it. So why not just do it and be healed? And so Naaman went and did it, and he was healed. Well, so then the first part of her lesson was just amazing. It was incredible the way that she took what the story that I just told you, Second Kings five one through fourteen, and she changed it into this whole other thing, you guys. So she focused on the leprosy and she asked the question, what inside your heart? So I wrote it. I said, what inside my heart is robbing my joy and festering in my heart like leprosy? And so um, I put fear, anxiety, and bitterness. And you know what? I just wanted to make sure that we talked about that for a second, you guys, because that could be so real for you and your business because, um, if something is inside your heart that is not joy and that is not from God, um, it radiates through every other part of your life. And so if you have fear or anxiety in your heart, then that late spills over into your business and you don't feel confident in your business and you don't feel like you are enough. If you have um, jealousy that is festering in your heart, then um, you're not going to be able to very well do very well in this business um, if you're feeling jealousy in your heart. But not just that, but just also the um, with every aspect of your life. And um, then she said, if you're spending all your time making your life seem perfect to others, you will have no time to be about the kingdom work. And so that could go um, into you know, definitely focusing on your relationship with God. And if you're trying to make yourself look perfect to other people, then you have no time to actually create good within yourself. And that goes with our business too, because you guys, if you're working really hard to make yourself seem so perfect to your customers, then you can't actually help them because they're going to think that all you want to do is be perfect. And so you don't want to do that because Nobody wants to be around somebody that thinks they're perfect. And how could we as humans think that we're perfect when we should be comparing ourselves to God and God is perfect. And so 
we as humans can never be perfect. We can be close to, um, we could be striving for it every day, but we will never be perfect. And so I just think that these things that I was, I was going through it in a totally different mindset as a human, the things that are going on in my own life. But I, when things speak to me in my heart, I really try to apply it to all the aspects of my life, you guys. And so definitely unique is one of the big parts of my life. And um, so I tried to um, figure out how to make it work for my business too. And so um, she said that God fully intends to set us free and live a victorious life in Christ. And you guys, like... God wants to set us free from the fear, the anxiety, the bitterness, the jealousy, the insecurity that um, festers in our heart and makes it seem like our heart has full of leprosy, you guys. And God wants to set us free, but we have to be willing and we have to be ready to allow Him to set us free from the things that are binding us and that are causing us to be so sick and so um, full of leprosy. And so... Um, she also said to change the pattern and tone of the journey of your life. So once you change your heart and once you change the pattern of your life and you change the tone of your life, y'all, I'm not even kidding you. She, it, it made so much sense to me because your outlook on life and your outlook on everything radiates for everything. So like with this business... If your outlook is, I'm a failure, I'm never going to be good enough, I'm never going to be able to be where everybody else is, I'm never going to be successful, it's really hard for me to do videos, y'all, if that is your mindset and that is in your heart, then that is going to, um, that's how you're going to be and that's how you're going to act. Whereas if you change your mind and you change your heart, then the tone of your business, the tone of your actions, the tone of your attitude, the tone of your life changes. And it's amazing how that is pertaining to every part of your life. And so, um, one of the things, the, one of the main things I got is I keep going over this over and over and over in my head. Is that when you're feeling cheated by God for the plan He has chosen for you, focus on what He has chosen for you. Chosen for the plan of your life, you guys. Don't live your life feeling cheated. Feel chosen. Because God has a plan for you. And God has a plan for me. And God is in every part of our business. As a Christian, you have God in your life no matter where you are. And sometimes we can feel cheated. We can feel, you know what, like... I have all these things going on right now and I don't feel like I can give my business everything that I can and I just feel like I can't do this and I have to work and blah, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can live and feel cheated. But you know what? God has chosen me to be in this specific place. God has chosen me to be here where I am, working with Unique, working with my business, being involved in my church. He has um, chosen me to be in the lives of other people so that I can hopefully be a blessing to them so that other people can be a blessing to me. But when you live cheated and you feel cheated, I promise you, you're going to be bitter. You're going to be fearful. You're going to have anxiety. You're going to have all of those emotions in your heart fester and stay. And you're going to feel like your heart is full of leper leprosy, just like Naaman's body was full of leprosy. And so, y'all, like I said, this was the Priscilla Shire simulcast live. It's available for 30 days. I'm really considering re-watching it because it was just amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And so, I just wanted to share those key points with you guys that I've got. Live chosen. Live your life not feeling cheated, but feeling chosen. Because for whatever reason, God has a plan for you. He has a plan that you may not know. And you may not see it right now, but God still has a plan for you. You are chosen. You are not cheated. And for the first time in my life, I feel that. And for the first time in my life, I was able to sing the song, It Is Well, and I meant it. Because no matter what is going on, you guys, God is with you, and God hasn't forgotten you. You are not forgotten, and you are chosen, and you live 
your life for him. And so the way that I love this, one of the reasons I love this business so much is we uplift, we empower, and we validate women. And so all day we have the opportunity to share the love of Christ with people, with the makeup we share the love of Christ with the encouragement that we give to others. We share the love of Christ by just being who we are in Christ, but also being who we are and living our life for Him. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. That was my tidbit for today. Um, that is probably going to be my motto for the rest of the year. I am going to live chosen and not cheated because I'm not cheated. God loves me and I'm not forgotten. So y'all have a really good evening and I'll talk to you soon. Um, I love you guys and I pray for you daily. I really pray that God will use you and use me and I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all.